A German inventor is focusing on men when it comes to the issue of birth control. So he created a device that will shut off sperm flow at the flip of a switch. Hmm. Take a look at the video. It explains it in more detail, and then we'll discuss. The BMIC SLV is attached to the spermatic ducts. In its open state, it initially allows sperm cells to pass through the ducts. It is made of the well-known implant material Peak Optima. The valve is closed by hand. The switch can be felt through the scortum skin and then pressed. The flow of sperm cells will then be diverted sideward within the body and can no longer reach the ejaculatory fluids. The possibility of pregnancy is eliminated. To open the valve, one presses a safety pin and then the switch. But every time they show that scrotum thing, it I know. freaks me out. Um, okay, so let me give you some more details on this. No. no? First, it has to be noted, several things have to be noted. First of all, the entire time the diagram's up there, I'm a child, and I keep thinking of Will Ferrell in old school going, cock, balls. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I know, I know. <laughs> okay, but you're absolutely right. The main point there is, like, no, no, it's no big deal. We put an on-off switch inside your balls. And, and you just can reach feel into your it. scrotum sack and you'll and you squeeze this button and squeeze no, that I button. I can't. I can't. And then, but then, then the two sides. Oh, don't worry, we got a safety switch. You hold this side of your scrotum oh and then press the other side of your scrotum. <laughs> By the way, like, mm. there's nothing sexier than when you're about to have sex and someone grabs his balls to like switch something off. Like, yeah, wait, hold on, hold on. Hold on. <laughs> Say, wait, I, I lost my safety switch. No, okay, I. I'm gonna get in a second. Hold on, hold on. I gotta, I gotta turn the lights off here. Hold on. But here's the thing: it doesn't even work that way. Mm. After you turn the switch off so the sperm flow is stopped you have to ejaculate at least 30 times in order to get hold on to get rid of the residual sperm because you do have residual sperm like it takes a while to get get rid of that that's and i think he's just saying 30 times to ensure that there are no accidents okay i think that you can probably get away with doing it less but nonetheless this um hasn't been approved yet it needs to undergo testing they need investors I look, I like the fact that more and more inventors, companies, what have you, are focusing on men when it comes to yes. birth control, because a lot of the burden is placed on women, whether it's hormonal birth control or IUDs and things like that. Um, but I'm not sure that most men are going to be swayed by this. I don't think most men are going to undergo this procedure and have a switch in their balls to yeah, I mean, avoid look, you, pregnancy. You look at it as it's a burden on the women. I look at it the completely opposite because I'm a male and I think, no, I want to have the power to be able to say yes or no in yeah. terms of, of contraception, right? And so I, I like this idea. I read the headline, I was like, man, I mean, good luck trying to turn my balls up. No, okay. But <laughs> but but I it's an interesting idea and one that you know that hey should be explored. When you read the details though, I mean, not only you gotta go in the da -da 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 -da, <laughs> right, but on top of that you got to be counting for days and days, maybe for you guys, uh, less, I don't know, but like, <laughs> right, but like, all right, wait, was that 27 or 26? Was that 20? All right, I'm almost at 30. Honey, honey, we're I promise we're going to have sex in just a couple of days, but I, I'm on ejaculate number 27, <laughs> and I have four more to go, and then I'll be right with you, okay? Yeah. Not the hottest thing in the world. No, no, it's not hot, but, you know, usually birth control isn't hot. So it is what it is. Like you just kind of have to deal with it. And what if somebody kicks you in the balls and accidentally uh, turns it off? I just and then you're like, oh man, I was at 29. Now I got to start all over. Balls are very sensitive, right? <laughs> yes. Yeah. So if balls are super sensitive and you have a switch in them that you have to c continuously like mess with to make sure you don't get people. Pr I, I don't know. Look, maybe I'm being too skeptical. Maybe I'm being too pessimistic. I, again, I like that he's focusing on men. Um, I like that he's focusing on the ball. <laughs> right. Okay. I just, you know, as as a his commentator, I'm prone to focusing on the things that don't necessarily work or don't sound so good. And a switch in your balls doesn't sound so good. I, if if any if there's anything we can agree on on this program, it's that a switch in your balls doesn't sound so good. 